This is called a chemical garden, and the key ingredient here is actually gravity. To make one, you'll need some salt to seed the garden. Then you'll place those seeds in a test tube. Then you'll immerse the seeds in a solution containing silicate anions. And if you wait just a few minutes, tiny plant-like structures will start to grow. A layer of metal silicate forms, but then osmotic pressure causes hollow tubes to extend upward. But if you were to travel to outer space and plant the same seeds in the same solution, you would end up with chemical gardens that look different. That's because the Earth's gravity is the reason these tree-like structures form, and chemists at the University of Sao Paulo have just calculated the minimum magnitude of gravitational force needed for this vertical growth. Scientists have been studying chemical gardens for nearly 400 years, but recent discoveries about how they form have opened up an entirely new field of study called chemobryonics. Researchers hope this work can answer questions about the origin of life on our planet, since it's widely believed that life began here, in nature's version of a chemical garden.